So the next thing I want to talk about winterizing today is hose bibs. Hose bibs are faucets that are attached to your house uh, that you attach a hose to. So here we have a hose bib. Um, this particular one is a frost free hose bib. So it shuts off back into the wall. Here's what it would look like if we took it out of the wall. Um, again, it has a shaft in here and it has a washer and a seat back here um, that turn and shut off whenever you turn the handle and shut it off. Okay, um, so one thing you wanna be sure you do with frost-free hose bibs is detach the hose. Because again, if we leave the hose attached, that can cause an airlock and not allow it to drain. So um, we're gonna see how much water comes out of here. Now this is off. Not a whole lot, but still we wanna detach the hose. This is actually a common repair for plumbers. When people don't winterize their home, they don't detach their hose from their frost-free hose bib. Um, a lot of times, this pipe here, uh, which is just a copper pipe, will freeze and then it will crack and break. And what'll happen is it won't leak all the time, but whenever you turn water on, it'll start running down your siding and you'll wonder, hey, what's going on here? That is a cracked and broken frost-free hose bib. Classic symptoms, very common repair for plumbers. So be sure that you disconnect your hose from your frost-free hose bib. The other kind of hose bib I want to talk about today is just a normal hose bib. Um, in the plumbing industry, we call this a silcock. Um, this would be attached to your house and it would look like this. It would normally have a handle on it like this. But you can see that it doesn't shut off back in the wall, so it has no built-in freeze protection. Again, on these, it's really important that you disconnect the hose. Sometimes um, in newer homes that have these, there will be a dedicated shutoff valve that has an airlock release on it. We call that a stop and waste valve. So it's important to shut that off and turn this on and leave it on, drain it down so that there's no standing water in here that can freeze. Another thing that you can do to, uh, to protect silcock hose bibs would be to put uh, one of the hose bib covers that they have that you can buy at Economy Supply or wherever. Um, just put that on there, it'll cost you less than five bucks and it'll save you hundreds of dollars in plumbing repairs. So be sure and do that. So really appreciate you watching the video today about winterization. As always, if you have any plumbing needs, feel free to give us a call at 541-928-6065 and check us out at winbentonplumbing.com.